that blood from a side down. Go right there, ladies and gents. I'm out and about on the bike in Sussex. And this is part of a new playlist I'm going to be putting out. I'm going to be heading out to the various English heritage castles and bits and bobs throughout the country and taking my motorcycle with me. There's loads down in Sussex of places that I could head to and uh, plenty more in the other surrounding counties and across the whole of the UK. This one's one of the closest to me so this is the one that's happening first. Also it's a bit of a grotty day although the sun's sort of trying to shine through now. It has been raining most of the morning and I also noticed when I was looking at the map that I believe there's a Toby Carvery around here too so I might head there for my lunch afterwards. I'll post links up to the castle I go to which is Bramber Castle this time in my description. Now this castle is a very, very ruined castle. I don't believe there's much left of it at all. But it doesn't take away the interest it has. In fact, I think it kind of adds to it a bit. Makes you wonder what's happened to it throughout the years. And this one is quite an oldie. Look at that, sun shining now. Awesome. Awesome. I wasn't expecting that to come out. I thought it was going to be pretty damn grim all day long. Alright, Bramba Castle left, that's what we want. As it's, I didn't expect to be able to drive in like this. <laughs> like I'm off roading. <laughs> Okay, I think that's as far as I can go on the bike. Okay, like I say, there's not much of it left. So it's a Norman castle guarding the river Adur. Adur. Castle was founded by William de Bressel in about 1073. Deep ditches protect the castle and there is a mound or mot at its centre parts of a stone keep that was built on top of an earlier gateway also remain. The castle was in ruins by the 16th century. Any reasonable time of day or night and it's free. I and mean, obviously there's not a lot to have a look at but we'll have a little wander around eh? So they're all part of its defences. That's really cool. They've been all the way around it. We'll have a walk all the way around. This is the main bit that's left of it. It's a lot of stones. Okay, so this is what it looked like before. We're there. And that's that. That's, that's the gatehouse. Okay, this would have been quite big. With the castle wall going all the way around. And you've got a tower over in that direction over there. Got the mot there, which would have had a fortification on top of it um, and you'd have had like I guess you'd have had little village houses in here so you've got your Morton Bailey so that would be the defensive position if shit hit the van and then this would be where everyone would live and then outside of it um, would have been uh, all the peasants I guess, I don't quite know uh, might be talking crap Defending the Ardour Gap. Sounds impressive, doesn't it? Cool. Let's have a little look. A little look ski. Swell squidgy. So this was the gatehouse. But with the bridge there, how peculiar, maybe the bridge was a later um, addition. Or maybe it did kind of go across here as well. Who knows? Blood and sweat's gone into building that. Pretty cool. Oh, okay, awesome. 
Was that the church? I think that might be the church. But again, that looks quite defendable, doesn't it? Okay, so this is the tower. Wow, quite a lot's fallen down since that was done. And even then, that was uh, in ruin 1635. Would have been quite pretty then. So this would have been a very good defendable position with these steep sides. No one would want to be fighting up that lot, would they? I'm guessing the top of the pot hasn't got much there if they're suggesting that it was made of wood. Ugh. Okay, so we've moved along now, we're over here, and so that's there. These are various little buildings around here, which I'm guessing they've geophysicised to sh find where they would have been. That's pretty nasty. His uh, man seized and his wife and eldest son imprisoned and starved to death in Windsor Castle. So. Uh, Starving someone to death. Pretty horrible way to go. It's like you're not killing them yourself, but you're not helping them live. Some nice views. So that's the River Ardu. Ardu. <coughs> Hello, dog. You're dog like. That would have been a big old drop down the sides. Good castle design. Ah. Let's have a look ski. So I'm guessing this was actually a natural door possibly around here. Unless they cut that on purpose. But yeah, fighting up that would suck. Take a look at the top of this mot, shall we? <coughs> Woof! Bike boots really <laughs> aren't designed for this. <laughs> well, I'm well and truly out of breath now. <laughs> Someone's put a swing here. Butterfly. It's a shame people have ditched all their rubbish and stuff up here. This would have been a very small accommodation area. It would really be a last ditch resort by the time you got shoved in here, wouldn't it? I wonder how many people would have utilised it.
Well, that was pretty cool. There's a lot more here than I thought. I thought that was all there was. Didn't realise you had uh, the ruins over there as well with the wall. Okay, let's go find myself a carvery. Okay, well that was a carvery fail, um, and I'm sure their carvery is very, very tasty, but I'm not 22 quid hungry. <laughs> uh. Okay, well it was pretty awesome having a wander around the ruins there. Really enjoyed that. Maybe wear something more appropriate next time. Or lose some clothing or something. So I'm not sweating out my hoop quite as badly. Yeah, that's a little taster of what's to come. There's so many places to see in the UK. And being a, a member of the English heritage means that I can get into an awful lot of them free of charge. There's way too many for me to be able to get to all of them in a year. And I'm in no rush to get to them all. So I'm just going to slowly work my way through them all. And do a little vlog from each. Anyway right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this. I know it's a little bit different from a standard motor vlog. It's a direction I'd like to continue taking this channel though. I will do basic standard motor vlogs. But it's always nice to have a purpose for the ride. And there's so many places in the UK to go and see. So do stick around. Drop in a comment as well if uh, it's something you enjoyed or you want information about the place or anything like that and I'll try and answer your questions as best as I can. I am only as good as my Wikipedia foo. So um, yes, <laughs> don't expect 100% accuracy. But I'll do my best to help you out. If you're new to the channel, do give it a subscribe and that way when I post more content like this, you'll be notified and be able to watch me dribble on about nothingness, looking at castles around the country. Do give my videos a thumbs up if you like it, and a thumbs down if you don't. And give us some feedback as to why you liked it or didn't like it too in the comment section. It's always appreciated. I love the interaction backwards and forwards between myself and the people that watch my videos. Any hoozles. This journey looks like it's going to be pretty tedious. So I'm going to knock this one on the head here. Take care. Ride safe. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye for now. Keep that bye. Hey, no, you got to keep that bye. Rubber side down.